Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going over reforges. With the latest update, the whole system has been reworked. Let's go over the changes. Let's start with the new precise reforging tool. Reforges can now be obtained outside of the cash shop. That's right, it's slightly less pay to win now. Functionally, these are similar to Kretna's reforges prior to the rework. You can obtain these from the second, third, and fourth voucher dungeon guide shops, sponsorship society shop, Dugit Shop, Fiona's Shop in Magmo, and the Adventure Seal Shop. They have limited purchase amounts per week. The Commerce Dugit Shop is limited to three per week. The Dungeon Guide Shop is limited to four per week shared across voucher types. The rest of the shops have a limit of five per week. In total, you can obtain up to 22 reforges per week this way if you really grind for it. These are not tradable, so you'll have to earn them yourself. Let's go over the UI now. The new UI shows the current reforge at the top. On the bright side, you can find the reforge rank and reforge attribute amount, aka lines. At the top of the window is a button that shows all possible lines for the item you are reforging. This includes info on the possible, max, and limit break rolls. When you reforge an item, you'll now see new lines at the bottom of the window. I'm not 100% a fan of this, as there's a lot of text on the screen at once now, but once you get used to the change, it makes sense. The window is colored the same as the reforge you are using. For basic tools, it is gray. For precise tools, it is green. And for exquisite tools, it is blue. Below the reforge button, it will display how many of the current tool you have remaining. It will separate tradable tools from non-tradable tools in this count in the case of exquisite tools. Now let's talk about the new exquisite reforging tool. The price is 1.5k and x per tool, or 45k and x for 35 tools. At first this looks like a price increase, which it is, but it is also a lowered cost compared to the credit news reforging tools of the past. Functionally, these are the same as the precise tools, except they have the rare possibility to limit break, they have an increased minimum level for attributes, they can be traded, and they come with a pity system built in. The pity system revolves around an item called Hope Essence. You get one hope essence every time you use an exquisite tool. This essence can be exchanged to Lazar or Stuart for some really awesome new items. First new item is called Surging Hope Gem. This item requires an exchange of 50 hope essence. This item will increase the reforged rank of an item to rank 1 guaranteed. To make it even better, this item can be traded once and can be used on any item that can be reforged that isn't already rank 1. The second new item is called Blossoming Hope Gem. This item requires an exchange of 7 Hope Essence. This item will increase the number of attributes, aka lines, to 3, guaranteed. This item can also be traded and can be used on any item that can be reforged that doesn't already have 3 attributes or lines. Neither of these two items will change the current reforged attribute of an item. In more basic terms, it will apply the changes the next time the item is reforged. The third item you can exchange for is an untradable exquisite tool for 15 hope essence. So if you already have rank 1 triple line reforges, now you can get an extra try every 15 reforges. Or you could get the other hope gems and sell them. Totally up to you. With that, the new reforge system and tools are covered. There are other changes to some numbers and rates, but that info is more for redditors and min-maxers who should have already read the patch notes. If you have any additional questions, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.